My name is Myra Kalman, and I am an illustrator and a writer. Well, the work that I do is always a balance of humor and tragedy, I guess, is the way to put it, that I'm, I'm really encompassing those two areas often at the same time, which is, you know, a little bit exhausting. But the work that I want to do, I always want to have a sense of, you know, a certain acerbic humor, a certain amount of understanding that things are unanswerable, and a certain amount of optimism and hope. The way that I process my ideas is probably, I end up probably a little bit too optimistic in the end, and, and actually I'm wondering about that because I have all these dark thoughts and then when I come to the conclusion, I incorporate more humor and more joy than I expected to. And then I, then I get a little bit annoyed and say, what was that? But I think that, and maybe I'm too concerned about being too dark, but that, that comes back to regretting what you say because if I'm feeling too dark about something and too distressed and troubled, then I think, well, that's, that's enough of that. Lighten up. And then if I'm lightening up, I think, well, how superficial could you be? So, you know, there's constant, for me, it's a constant dialogue, and I think that in the end, uh, uh, how, I, how I work will probably continue evolving, and that, you know, what I'm reading, if I'm reading Proust, or if I'm going to see Lucian Ford paintings in a museum, or, or going to see a Shakespeare play, that would affect, I hope that affects something of how I continue to develop as a, as a person and as an artist. I don't know what I'm going to be saying in a year or two from now, but I just hope that it, um, well, I hope it's not boring. <laughs>